Hi everyone, thanks for joining us tonight at the Chris Center for the Visual Arts. I'm Stephanie Gerbergar, the Educator for Public Programs. And tonight we're pleased to host our continuing program, Artist Forum. Artist Forum was developed as a way to bring together local and regional artists with their community. The reason we created this as a reoccurring program was to provide the opportunity for our visitors to become more familiar with the working artists in Nashville and the surrounding areas by hearing firsthand about their concepts and creative processes. The Frist Center has a desire to nurture the relationship between artists and the community, community by giving them the time and space to interact, as well as a forum where everyone's questions and ideas can be explored. For those of you who are regulars to this program, mark your calendars to join us again on Thursday, October 15th for presentations by Ron Lambert and Leslie Patterson Marks. Tonight, we are pleased to have four of the five wonderful artists uh, joining us tonight who are a part of a larger collective, Off the Wall. The five members of Off the Wall met as students at Watkins College of Art, Design, and Film here in Nashville. Jamie Raven, Jenny Luckett, Malia Jones, Janet Heilbrunn, and Ivanka Laskowski connected through their artwork and came together to create an art collective. The group is a support network and encourages continual creative growth for the individual members. The members work in a variety of different media, painting, drawing, video, performance, sculpture, and installation, sharing a similar artistic language and curiosity of materials all are interested in making work with personal res resonance and a conceptual manner. The first shows were one night only events that were entirely <coughs> self-organized and held in non-traditional art spaces, often including experimental music and spoken word. Beginning in 2007, the group started showing in local galleries, including the Dungeon Art Gallery, Twist, and the Renaissance Center. These ladies are a group, but also individuals, so I would like to highlight a few things about each artist before we begin. Malia Jones is a native of California, and she studied at pa the Pasadena Art Center there in California and graduated locally from Watkins. She has active commission work for Starbucks, Mitchell Gold, and Bob Williams. Her video art was included in Fugitive's internationally traveling 62nd Southern Video Festival. And she was a display coordinator and visual team member at Retailer Anthropology in 2008. Jamie Rabin has exhibited at Swanson Reed Contemporary in Louisville, Kentucky, the Renaissance Center, and the Frist Center for the Visual Arts and the Future Now College Exhibition. And she's the president of Plate Tone Print Shop, a community printmaking studio. Janet Hybrun has exhibited at the Woman Made Gallery in Chicago, Arbogast Fine Art Gallery in Franklin, and Art and Invention Gallery in Nashville. Jenny Luckett is the co-founder of Number Walls, a mural company specializing in paint-by-number inspired imagery, with clients including Lextran and Village Real Estate. She's a graduate of Pepperdine University and currently has a show at the Belcourt Theater. Ivanka Wyskowski is currently working for Watkins College of Art, Design, and Film as a career service coordinator. She's a member of Fugitive Projects and has exhibited at Cumberland Gallery and Hanover College in Indiana. Tonight, two of these five ladies, Malia Jones and Jamie Rabin, will be speaking, but Janet and Jenny will also be available to answer questions during um, the question and answer period. So please join me in welcoming Malia, Jamie, and the rest of the members of Love the Wall. for giving us this opportunity and for Stephanie for helping us to put this together. Thank you to all of you for coming out. We are Off the Wall Art Group. So here are the members of Off the Wall. Um, at the top uh, is Jenny um, holding the cord. In the middle on the top is Malia Jones and on the end is Ivanka Wyskowski who was not able to be here tonight. Um, at the bottom um, on your left is Janet Heilbrunn. In the middle is me, Jamie Raven. And at the end is Quinn Dukes, who recently left the group after moving to New York. So here's the format for tonight's lecture. Um, we'll start with this presentation about the group, and then Malia will talk about her work, and I will talk about mine after that. And then the four of us will do a question and answer session. Off the Wall is an independent art group that has been together for over four years. 
We are all former students from Watkins. It started as a casual idea where Jesse Smith said, I want to have a show. How do we make this happen? She walked down the hall at school and rounded up some people she knew from class. Professor Michelle Anderson agreed to help this group of students put together a one-night show. Originally, Off the Wall was a single event in 2004. The success of that show led the group to reform as a running collective. Off the Wall has evolved over time and gone through shifts in membership. The former members of Off the Wall are Jesse Smith, Jen Ramsey, Quinn Dukes, Nell Rashad, Michelle Anderson, and Jennifer Cornett. I'm going to walk you through a show um, that we did. This is called Portal Skin. It's a self-curated show that we did in an alternative space. So here we are at an event room in Marathon Village normally used for parties and weddings. The owner, Barry Walker, let us use the space for the night as a donation. Installing a show is essentially a three-day process. The day before, we'll all arrive with our work and plan the layout. Usually there's some clearing out of the space required. We have a reputation for leaving the space nicer than we found it, with freshly painted walls. We like our shows to look pretty polished, and we're willing to put in a lot of work to get there. Hanging the show is often time consuming, and each space has its own challenges. At the first two off the wall shows, the owner of the space didn't want us to use nails in the walls, so everything was hung from the ceiling, which is where the group got its name. The day of the show, we come back and do any setup that had to wait until the walls were dry. We set up the lighting and lay bleach piece and set up the reception. We divide up these responsibilities within the group, and this rotates each show. Meaning for one show, one of us would be the contact person with the space, one would print out the labels, write the press release, etc. We all have different strengths, and we share our skills. We have a lot of off-the-wall equipment that we've accumulated over time, such as hanging a hanging kit and clamp lights, which this is all stored in Janet's basement when we're not using it. One of the main reasons to do an independent show is that we have total control over the curation. It's all about the art. The show is not put through a filter for a commercial audience. Here we've created a space that is inviting for the viewer. A trademark of Off the Wall is that our events are warm and inviting. We want our shows to be accessible, creating a comfortable situation for the artist and the viewer to interact. We each make art independently, but the work has a relationship, creating a cohesive viewing experience. We work in a variety of media, including drawing, painting, video, installation, and live performance, and use a lot of non-traditional materials, which have in the past included glue, candy, mashed potatoes, and mattresses. This is a video piece by Malia Jones. And this is an interactive um, piece by Jenny Luckett. All of our independent shows are characterized by music by Brian Bergman. Some shows have also included poetry readings and additional musicians. When we plan a show, we create a concept for it. We collaboratively develop a title and a postcard image. We talk about our individual artwork and the direction that we plan to take it for the next show. Then we try to find the point of intersection and build on it. This particular image, a couple of us created on the Xerox machine. A lot of times we experiment with photos to create something fluid and abstract that communicates the intimate, organic feel of our shows. Our postcards are a collaborative piece. We're a tight group. We meet every week. We encourage everyone to get there early so we have enough time to talk about our lives before we talk about our work. In addition to being an exhibition group, we're a system of creative support for one another. We all share the unique lifestyle of a working artist so it's great to be able to stay close to other people in the same situation. We support each other creatively through critiques of artwork and sharing of ideas and goals and keep each other current about what's happening in the local art scene. Sometimes we also have fun meetings with potlucks and after show celebrations. Being in the group has helped our individual creative practices. Knowing that you are part of something bigger than yourself makes you accountable. You don't want to let down the rest of the group. We have ongoing goals in mind of when we would like our next show to be, and then we try to find a space based on word of mouth. We've been fortunate to have a lot of community support. We've made connections over time through going out to a lot of art shows, and we have a group portfolio prepared that we can send out. 